Hi, my name is Felipe Nevola, and today I'm going to show you what you have new on Meteor 1.10. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new Meteor project. Then let me open the terminal here. Okay, and then to create a new Meteor project, you need to type Meteor create. I will create a React skeleton. Then I will already have a, a code example with React and I will call my app. Then Meteor is going to see what is the latest Meteor version and also the package, package versions. And then we are going to have a, a Meteor project here. And that's it, the project is created. We can go to this folder if you want and you can run Meteor, then we'll run the project. Let me put this in the right side. Let me put this in the left side. Okay, now I have the MongoDB running inside Meteor and we also have the app running and then I will hit refresh here. Then you can see the app is really running here. And the first thing that I want to show you is that this project is really using Meteor 1.10 actually the 1.10 is the 1.10.1 this is the version that you should use and now let's see one of the news that we have that is we have a new dev tools that was created by Leonardo Venturini and that's the new dev tools then if I hit refresh here you can see the messages then this is a dev tool for Meteor projects where you can see the DDP message here you can also see the Minimongo database here and you can also save to, to check later. Like if I want to save this message here, I can see this message here later. Okay, and let me remove this message from here. And you can also clear, you can also see like how much uh, network you are using it. Then it's, it's a pretty good tool. And you can also do some filters here like follow the guide. Then I'm getting just this document from MongoDB then it's a, it's a very good extension that you have now and you can, you can use it for, to debug your Meteor DDP uh, messages and also the Minimongo. The next thing, next thing that I would like to show you is the Cordova integration because you have updated the Cordova integration. Then I will go to my terminal again. I will stop running the app. Uh, let me just put this a little bit up. Okay, then I can type here, Meteor Run Android. As this is just a new app, I don't have the platform yet in my app, then I need to add this. But let me show you what Meteor does. Like we have the platform files here. Then now when I, I can copy and paste this, then I'm going to add this platform. Then you are going to see this platform here in the left side as well. Okay, now we have the Android platform. Then let me get the emulator here, the Android emulator. And let's, let's type here, feature run Android again. Now I have already the platform, then it should start my application in, in the emulator in a few seconds. Then it's building the application. If you go back to the browser, the application is still here. Then you can use the application in the same time using the browser and also using the, the emulator. You're going to see both working the same time. Here, the browser is already working and then it's deploying in the emulator as well. Okay, now we also have in the emulator. Then this is a new project. I just like type these three commands, Meteor Create, then Meteor Add Platform, then Meteor Run Android, and I have a working Android app here in my Android emulator. And that's a, a real app. If I close the app here, I can see the app is installed here on my emulator. You can also run your device. You just need to plug the cable. I'm just showing the emulator because it's easier here, but it's, it's going to work as well. Okay, now let's try to do the same for iOS. Then Meteor, let's try the run first because then Meteor say, I don't have this platform. Then I can copy here and also add the iOS platform. 
the same thing is going to happen if you go here boom now we have the iOS here and let, let's try to run iOS now I didn't open my iOS emulator but I hope this is, is going to open it let's wait a little bit it's basically the same process you can see a few warnings here but they're not errors it's just because Meteor is now using the latest Swift version to create this project and we still have some plugins that are not using the latest version of Swift but that's fine let me get the browser here so we have all the applications here in the same time it's the same code but we have three different platforms here and it's also working here very well then we have the same idea it's a real app here then you can see the app is is really installed here on ios i also would like to show you that we are running the mongodb version 4 that was also updating this version let me get the nosql client here and uh, let me refresh this connection then you can see that meteor already start a database for you and you have the links that you can see in the screen they're coming from here and i can also open a tab and run db version just to make sure we are really running mongodb 4 then it's also up to date then the next the next thing that i would like to show you let's see it's the skeleton then we just create a new project here but you can see like this project is already using the use tracker hook that's a new hooker for that you can use with Meteor to have reactive data in your app and you can also see that this counter that I can click here this counter is also using the react hook use state then Meteor skeleton now when you use dash dash react or when you use dash dash typescript it's already using like the best patterns to to develop react apps today it's pretty cool that with three lines you can have the reactive data here with Meteor and with React hooks. Let me show you that it's real live data. Let me add this document here in my database. Uh, check the guide. And I, I'm going to run this update. And you can see it's already updated here. Uh, check the amazing guide. And I can update again. And you can see it's updated here like right away and you can see the messages coming here saying that the title was changed and you can see the other message here the title was changed again then this is pretty cool it works it works when you create your new project it's already set up for you then the next part that I'd like to show you is the the view tutorial then if you go to meteor.com you can check the tutorials and now we have this new option view and you can click in the view tutorial and you have a step-by-step -step guide how to create a simple to do application using view and that's pretty cool we have like meteor packages for view integration and you can just follow these steps to learn how to create a, a view app with meteor you also have this new option here to exclude architectures let's see how it works you can go here and you can choose one architecture that you don't want to run in this example i'm using the web browser legacy because i don't want to build for a legacy browser because i'm just using chrome here then i can run my app and then it's building for the web browser but it's not building for for the legacy browser and i, I even can exclude more like web cordova if i don't want to to build for cordova as well and then it's going to start my app faster and it's also going to rebuild faster then it's a it's a nice addition that you can save this time in development and you don't need to build architectures that you are not using in the moment and to finish this i also would like to show you like how to deploy an app and add the settings on galax like that's a new feature on Galax, then let's let's do this. I have a simple deploy script here that I will copy from, from the other folder to here. And I also have a sample settings here that I will copy from the other folder. Let's see this in my IDE. Then my deploy script is a very simple script, just like a deploy command. It's very simple to deploy to Galax. You just choose 
if you want to deploy to Galaxy US or to Asia or to Europe, this is the US one. Then you, you put this command, Meteor deploy, the domain that you want. You can use Meteor app domains for free. And I'm just adding the owner here because I have many accounts in Meteor, but if you don't have, you can just leave this without the owner and also my settings. In my setting, I just have like a, a MongoDB. This is just like a empty database. You don't need to worry about the credentials here. And I also have this startup message. Then I will log this startup message and I can change this just for you to see how we can change the, let me put aside the startup. Meet your console log my startup message. Then I will add the meter settings startup message here. Okay, then I can test first. Let's see if it's working. I need to see the log here. Yeah, it's working. My startup message. Oops. Meet your settings. Oh, I didn't run using the settings. Sorry. Now it's going to work. Then I'm using these settings here. I use the same settings to deploy. Now I can see server running. Then my settings are being used. Then let's deploy this to Galaxy. I need to provide permission for my script. Now we are talking to Galaxy servers to start the deploy. Then I don't see my app yet. Now I see my app, my app four. Then Galaxy is still building it. And you can see, you can follow the logs here. Building the app. Then it creates a Docker image and you can customize the Docker image if you want, or you can use the Galaxy already provided Docker image and almost ready. Now the, the new image is already built, then it's going to, to start the app itself. Okay, the container is starting. You can see the app is not available yet, but the container is almost starting okay now it's started you can see you can see the message here then you can also refresh and now your app is live and from now on your app will be always live because galaxy has zero downtime then even if you update your settings you're not going to see your app down the app will be always available for your users then let's go to to the <coughs> to see the container, everything is okay. Then you can go to the versions tab and you can select the current version that we have and you can change the, the settings. In this case, it's just a message. It's just for, just an example. Then I will just update this message, put updated message. Okay, hit save. And you can see that Galaxy is creating a second version of this app. Then if you, if you see the app is already there, it's already being built and you can see the message is updated. Then you don't need to, to do the full process of deploying your code. You just change the setting, click save and that's it. And then you can watch the logs if you want, but the second version is already in progress. As you can see, then let's just wait a little bit. You can see the app is, is available like all the time and you can see the new container being created you can see the app is available and now you can go to the logs and you can see the new message there and everything is updated and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and then you have the news on meter you have the new dev tool and you also have the new change settings option on galaxy i hope you like it thank you bye bye